Okay, like girl's magic here. What up? Okay, we have a full on get ready with me, okay? Makeup in here, okay? Elsa, we're gonna be talking, we're chit chatting. You guys know I love to talk. I'm a talker and I love it. Like, I am back to black, hello, and I am uh, loving it. First, starting off with my hair today, hello. If you're wondering, the hair I'm wearing is from Lady Hair. Now, this is a 360 lace frontal wig. You guys can see this here is like pretty long, which I'm like, hey. I've actually installed it already, but I'm gonna finesse it a little bit throughout the video, especially to just lay it better. All the hair information is right here or right here, wherever I put it. Also, it will be down below in the description box. So we're gonna get on to curling. So we're gonna do the first side, and I just clip it up. I love my trusty clips. They are mighty, mighty great. Make sure your hair is brushed out. Now you can also use heat protectant if you'd like to. The curls can be really tight, or they can be really loose. It really matters. But for today's video, I think we're gonna go with something that's a bit more loose. Now this is a Crown Era curling iron. If you guys are wondering, I've had this curling iron for like years, literally, and it. It's just the best. So go to your local CVS or do I raid or Target and get it. Okay? Okay. Literally, it curls so easy and it's super tight. Hello. I love it. Also, I don't know if you guys know, but I have not put any heat on my hair, my natural hair in the last year. I didn't tell you guys. I don't think so. In December 2016, I was like, I'm going natural. I cut all my hair off, like all the perm parts, and put no heat on in my hair. This December that just passed, December 2017. So here's a picture of it right here. I feel like I'm gonna wear my natural hair out more, but when it gets a bit more bigger and longer, I guess you can say. Honestly, I love a good wig. It's so much easier. Side note, when I woke up this morning, I just had this really like fire for life, guys. I was thinking about like, you know when it says in the Bible, it's your tongue could speak life or death. Like it's so important what you speak over your life. Like especially in this new year, it's January in 2018. Like you can speak whatever you want over your life. And remember that you have to work really hard for it. And also like, it just remind me, like my friend, I have a friend right now and it's just so sad. And her mom's in the hospital. It just reminds me like, life is just so short. Like all the petty things that we go on about, like not the most important. Like even like makeup, not the most important. What I actually really care about is I care about you guys. I care about your heart and I care about who you are. Like makeup comes and go. Put it up in a little bun in the back of my head, kind of scrunch it up so the curls last longer throughout the day and they are tighter. Makeup is totally like what you put on the outside, but you can never cover up an ugly heart. You can never cover up, like if you're going through anxiety, if you're going through depression, if you're going through different attacks in life. And it, it's actually real how life, it's like life is real. So I just want to encourage you guys to just make sure you're dealing with your insides more than anything and just making sure you're taking care of yourself. You're living to your fullest potential. You're living with purpose. You're living with a reason. You have goals in life. But I just wanted to share that with you guys, okay? I know it's like, what? But it was just on my heart this morning and I had to share with you. I don't know why it was on my heart, but I woke up. Actually, I went to bed last night like at 7 a.m. Not good. Woke up at 11 a.m. today. I was doing some work and it's just on my heart. So just like, ah, I want the best for you guys. Like, what is your dream? How are you getting to your dream? Are you, are you setting those goals to accomplish your dream? Like, what are you doing? Let me know because I want to know. And how can I help? Can I be praying? Like, let me know. We're friends. You know what I mean? But yeah, getting back to my livey hair. Hello. So like I said, this is a 360 lace frontal wig. So you can part it any or any different ways. I actually have a couple of videos where I parted it half up, half down. You can put it in a ponytail if you'd like to. It's really up to you, but I'm just doing curls today. I will show you guys the different ways to use it in other tutorials. And thank you so much, Lady here, for sending me this hair. They did send me this here, just to let you know. All my opinions, all my, all my honest opinions. I don't have time to lie, girl. We're also gonna put the other side up also. And now we're gonna move on to doing my makeup. So I'm starting off with this setting spray. Now I never use setting spray, but I'm trying some new different routines, okay? Because I'm trying a couple of things out for different videos. Okay, so this is a Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray, if you're wondering. And I'm just gonna apply this to my skin before I apply any product. I already actually moisturized my skin, if you're wondering. This product right here, okay, it's been my trusty product for the last month to two months, you guys know. Also, I have a pack of airheads in like my box of makeup, you know? Priorities really good for my foundation today. I'm using this Becca foundation This is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation and I'm just gonna apply this foundation to my skin I really have been loving this foundation. Have you guys tried this yet? Like it is amazing Flawless full coverage. I know a lot of people who rave about this foundation. I was like mm, I have a lot of foundations I can wait and then I got this I was like Girl. 
Like, no, like, you guys, go to Sephora. I'm actually, you heard it, you heard it here first. <laughs> and the color I'm using, if you're wondering, is in Sienna. So I'm gonna blend this out using my Morphe E31 brush. I'm using Dabbing Motions to blend it out. Also, before you actually start with foundation, I think it's always important to start with skin. That's why I've been doing so many skincare videos for you guys, because I feel like skincare is so important, and it's definitely a market that I want to go into more, and I want to add more to my channel. So, if you haven't been watching my skincare videos, go watch my newest one, which is a DIY at home facial. Yes. And it's like legit, because facials are so expensive. My mom would always be like, let's get a facial. I was like, girl, you better get on Groupon, because they're expensive. Also, if you guys would like to see a video, like maybe a get ready with me with my mom, make sure to thumbs this video up. Okay, so our foundation is on. I'm gonna move on to concealer. Okay, this is from Wet n Wild. This is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, this is a Coco. Okay, where, where, how does this look at Coco? Okay, let me swatch it for you so you can see. Honestly, I know a lot of people love this foundation, so I was like, let me get two colors. So I got Coco and Toffee, and usually Coco is like a bit more darker, but like, look at this color. This is not cocoa, okay? I know they have other darker colors, guys, I know. But this is not cocoa. But altogether, if you're wondering, I do like this foundation. I've been using it as a concealer because obviously I can't use it as a foundation yet, but I might mix it with other foundations probably soon this month and use it. But I'm gonna apply this under my eye. If you know, if you're wondering. It's like my thing. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out using my Real Technique sponge. And I'm just using dabbing motions to blend it out. I can only imagine it as a foundation especially for that price tag, but I can't use it. I gotta order another one. Then for my powder, I'm using my Gloria. <laughs> Let's do this. Then for my powder today, I'm using this translucent powder from Too Faced. You guys know I've been using this for a little while now. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eye, just to set my concealer. <laughs> I feel like my brow, I was using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist. A lot of you guys have asked me if I like this product. Yes, I like this product. I've been using it um, as my brow product for the last couple of weeks. Eyebrows are finished. Hello, I should move on. So we're gonna move on to liner. I'm not gonna use any eyeshadow today, I expect for inner corner highlight in the eyes, probably, I feel like. So first thing is I'm going to do a wing liner on my eyes. So this, they're both from, so they're they're the same liner, hello, but they're from Black Radiance if you're wondering. I just have two of them, and I don't know why. You never know. Sometimes you might need a backup, you just never know. And I always like to start my wing at the outer corner of my eye. I still get really nervous when I do a wing liner, like especially on camera because I'm only using one hand and that's hard, like that's tricky. For my lashes today, I'm using my go-to lashes. These are from Ardell, they're the two of three. Literally, they look so good on the eyes. And a lot of you guys ask me how I apply lashes. Honestly, if you guys wanna do a full video on how I apply lashes, first, <laughs> I remember the first time I ever applied lashes, it was a hot mess. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied mascara to my lashes. I've been using these two, and I already applied the mascara to my lashes. It's just so hard to put mascara on camera, like for me at least, like I just like, ugh, it's hard, okay, it's hard. But, okay, I use the Collab Mascara, and then I use the Maybelline Falsies. This is a Makeup Shayla collaboration. All right, then I'm gonna bronze up my skin using my Morphe 9BZ palette. You guys know I love this palette a whole lot, okay? And just check it out. Just check it out. You guys, I'm looking at my skin. I'm just like, thank you, Becca. Like, you literally, it's Becca blessing my skin right now. This just helps to sculpt out the skin just a bit more. I'm also gonna just use a little bit of the nose area. I'm gonna highlight the inner part of my eyes. This is one of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. I'm not the biggest fan of ColourPop shadows in general. Y'all know this, but this isn't frosted. This is the Sure Shock Cheek Pearlizer. Yes. I'm gonna pop this shadow in the inner corner of my eyes. And it lets my inner corner pop so much more. Like, hello. You see it? All right, so we're almost done, and then we're gonna move back to the hair. But for my lips, if you're wondering, I'm using this lip color from Flower Beauty, and it's in Scarlet Red, literally my favorite red of all time. Snatch your life together, pretty much. And snatch my life, because it needs a lot of snatching. So pray for me. Okay, let's put it on. All right, so while my lip is drying, I'm gonna take down my hair, like so from the clips are so nice and tight. You can definitely define them a bit more if you'd like to. It's really up to you. Before I get started with my hair, I'm gonna apply a little gloss to this lip. I feel like I used to wear this with my brown hair and it looks so much like better, honestly. So I'm gonna apply a little gloss. This is a collab whatever gloss. 
All right, now moving back to my hair. So I'm gonna be using this Got To Be Ultra Glued Invisible Styling Gel. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this product. Like if you have it, definitely check it out, especially if you wear wigs, if you wear weaves, like it's really up to you, but definitely something you should check out because it lays, lays the hair so well. I'm just gonna apply a little bit. When you apply, say you're gonna apply a little and you apply a lot, hello. That's just all I use just to lay down the mesh, which is the front. And then what I like to do is I like to add just a little bit more volume. I don't know, I just like, I like a little volume to the hair. <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> and just kind of tease it up a little. Especially when I come over to the side where I have my bangs, I like to add the most volume at the back of the hair because it looks more fuller from the front. Just a little tip for y'all, you know, just a little hair tip. Hello. Literally, I'm like in a Pantene commercial. <laughs> All right guys, and this is my final hair right here, okay? You can like fluff it out if you'd like to. I do recommend Livy Hair, so I'll put a link down below for it. Also, thank you Livy Hair for waking with me with today's video, okay? Thank you for sending me the hair, I really appreciate it. And it's flawless, like. <laughs> the only thing is it does have like shedding, but every hair sheds, even my natural hair sheds, guys, literally. Like when I wash my natural hair, I'm like, okay, are you trying to take out my whole hair or what? Thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.